Hey guys, Bobby Sapp here with Cabin Creek Honey and Bees. I wasn't going to do a video today, but I think I'm going to do a small one just to see how it turns out. Um, I got my insect fogger in today, uh, and I'm going to try to do an oxalic acid treatment on these bees, my first attempt. So, I've been following instructions online, and let's see how it works. So here's what I have. Got this through the mail. Got my oxalic acid through the mail from Florida Laboratories. Also ordered my insect. It's a Burgess propane powered insect fogger. Now I've seen these. I don't have my propane gas hooked up to it yet, but we're going to see. And that's what originally came with it underneath. So here's what we're going to end up using. Well, this one. I've got a coffee filter on it. Just press down in there because they say to warm up the oxalic or the uh, the uh, alcohol and put your, which is only a half a cup. That's what a hundred milliliters comes out to. So that's what I use, and two teaspoons of oxalic acid, which comes out right at 25 grams. So that's what I'm going to use and then after I warm it up mix it together in there I'm going to put it and filter it through here the instructions says so so that's what I'm going to do And then I'm going to bring that After it's full And it Goes right on there. This is just a little Jelly jar Pint jar fits right on there small mouth lids and uh, that's what we're going to use. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back and we'll go out and test it out. Okay, so my rookie mistake, well, at least for a camera guy, I forgot to do, to show the fogger treatment that I was doing. So I wanted to get in the hive because there's no activity. It's about 41 degrees today. And I just, it scares me. It's my first time doing this, so first winter. So. Uh, they're nice and calm or cold. They just, yep. Yeah. Now they know I'm here after they smell my breath. But they look pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they're eating a lot of their mountain camp. I may come out here in another week or two and give them some more. I think it what is this, February 15th? So, and there's a lot of bees in there actually. So, I'm very happy with that. They're going down a little bit. They don't like it cold. So I'm going to put this back on them. I'm not going to check anymore today. Then I'll come back next week and I'll actually do another fog on them. Oxalic acid treatment. And uh, we'll do this three weeks in a row. Well, we take care if there is any varroa mites. I didn't want to do an alcohol wash on them this time of year when their numbers are down. But there's actually quite a bit in this one. There's probably six, seven frames. I'm surprised. So. I don't have the best camera set up yet, so. You have to bear with me on this. I'll probably come back and, uh, well, next weekend for sure, I'm going to come back and I'll put another treatment of oxalic acid fog on them. And uh, the fogger did okay. It was a little windy and kept on blowing the pilot out. So uh, I carried my torch with me and 
just kept lighting it and it seemed to fog I seen it coming out of the, the uh, ventilation holes in the back so it seemed to do okay that way so we'll see uh, then I'll check and see how many mites if any were dropped on the floor of these and uh, do another treatment a week after that and then I'll, I'll have that on video I'll make sure of it I just got excited I got my new fogger in and oxalic acid and I just couldn't wait to try it I had all intentions of it had it set up right over here for you to watch me do it and uh, well <laughs> being all excited and everything and new at this you know rookie mistake so bear with me I'll get it right next time hey guys all right so we made it back here it's the next week and we're going to try this oxalic acid fogging again and see how it does i mean this time i'm going to record it stay tuned all right so what i've got here is a little fogger and i'm going to wait a couple minutes for it to heat up yeah i've got a junk pile on the back of my truck i remodel for a living so a lot of tile a lot of bathrooms, a lot of kitchen, and find time for my bees as well. So, anyway, I'm gonna let it warm up and get it cherry red. And this sounds like it's working really good this week. Last week, uh, I must I put a bottle on it, wasn't new. So, a propane bottle. So, what it was, I wasn't getting enough propane. All right. I'm not real happy with it. I ordered a vaporizer, so I'm gonna have to go with that because this just doesn't give out a lot of fog or I'm doing something wrong, but I'm following instructions. So. Like I said, it just didn't fog as well as I thought it was going to. It may just be something I'm doing or it's not hot enough or something, but, but uh, I followed the way the instructions say. 
Looks like got a few dead bees on the front of this one. Of course, you're gonna have that. Yeah, they're not even wet. Oh well, it's this time of year. I'd like to really get in there and see them, but I'm not going to today. May do that tomorrow and see what they're looking like. It's supposed to be warmer tomorrow in the 50s. Today the high is 46. I mean, most of them will be in here. This hive I took down to a one because there was only like two or three frames of bees in it. And I uh, figured they'd keep them warmer. I just moved some honey down and that they've made and they've got plenty of honey in this one. But they only had two or three frames of bees. So I moved them down. Hopefully I did the right thing and took one off so that they could stay warmer at night. So got my brick up so I can keep up on them keep an eye on them but anyway that concludes today's session of the fogger so hopefully that's uh, informative to everybody and we'll keep track if it kills any mites or if there are any mites they all seem like they're healthy hives so and I haven't really done anything to them but I know that I need to so Going into my second year, happy so far. Stay cool, guys. Until next time, like and subscribe. Ring that bell.